Welcome to this lesson. In our previous lesson, we discussed some mental, social, and emotional characteristics of adolescents. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss the reproductive system and for both males and females. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain the term reproductive health. And also, by the end of this lesson, students should be able to identify the male reproductive system, the parts of it, and the function of each one of the parts. When we talk about reproductive health, we are talking about a complete well-being of the physical, mental, and social attributes of the reproductive system in relation to the processes of it and also its functions. So we are talking about a holistic well-being, a holistic, a holistic well-being of the social, mental, and emotional characteristics of the reproductive system to, in relation to its functions and processes. This is a pictorial representation of the male reproductive system. Now we are going to look at each one of the parts and the functions they perform in the male reproductive system. Now, the first one we'll look at is the epididymis. Now, this epididymis helps store sperm cells that are produced in the testes. They also help to develop the sperms to full maturity. We also look at the vas de France. This is a function, this part, its function is to transport sperm that are mature to the urethra. Now, the urethra also has a function of carrying urine from the bladder to the penis and also from the penis outside which comes as urine. It also helps transport sperms from the man to the woman. So the urethra transports sperms and urine from the male reproductive system. We talk about seminal vesicles. These seminal vesicles help produce fluids and also energy. which will help the sperms move. So they, they play a very key role in the development of the sperms. They produce fluids and also a source of energy so that the sperms can move. Then we talk about the scrotum or the scrotal sac. Now this helps protect the testes or the testicles from harm. It also helps pro produce adequate temperature so that the sperms can develop very well. You know, the sperms have a temperature range which they need to develop. And it is the job of the scrotum to provide this temperature. We also look at the testis. Now, the testis is responsible for producing testosterone. Now, this is the primary hormone in males. And this helps in producing sperms. Then we look at the penis. The penis helps with the passage of urine and also sperms. This is a part of males which enables them to be able to have intercourse with women and also place sperms in the woman for there to be conception. Now this brings us to the end of this lesson. Now in this lesson, we have defined reproductive health, and then we have looked at the male reproductive system. We have looked at the parts and the functions of each one of the parts. In our next lesson, we'll look at the female reproductive system. See you in the next lesson.